Hey, it's Jay from the Sexy Armpit. For a group of cartoon characters who have been investigating ghosts, goblins, monsters, and other paranormal entities for over 40 years, I knew that Mystery Inc. had to have run into the Jersey Devil at some point. After doing some sniffing around on my own, I found issue number 44 of Scooby-Doo from DC Comics from March 2001 that features a secondary story involving the teenage sleuths and the good old Jersey Devil. The storyline is obviously geared toward kids, but the writer Terrence Gripe Jr. kept the name of the real family of the legendary Jersey Devil. Businessman Donald Leeds, CEO of Leeds Enterprises, is hosting the Jersey Kite Festival, and his daughter Quincy is going to be in the competition with a kite she designed named the White Angel. The urban legend of the Jersey Devil is explained, and then the flying creature is described by Donald as the family curse. Meanwhile, the White Angel kite has not had a successful flight because the Jersey Devil keeps coming out of nowhere and tearing it to shreds. It's up to the Mystery Inc. gang to find out who's sabotaging Quincy's kite. I won't spoil it, but the outcome is your typical Scooby-Doo ending. This one was a bit disappointing, and I'd really like to see the gang encounter the Jersey Devil in a future episode of Mystery Incorporated on Cartoon Network. This has been J.M. Abiel from the SexyArbit.com.